I scoured the web and looked for the funniest memes and jokes about my hometown of Olympia, Washington. As a realtor, I work with many people who are moving into the area who don't know anything about the area, but hopefully these jokes will turn into tips for you to fit in just fine. When you move to Washington State, you'll have to clarify where you live. So when you say, oh, I'm from Washington, unfortunately, people assume that you're from Washington, D.C. So when you say, oh, I live in Washington, make sure you add Washington State. The next problem comes once they figure out that you're from Washington State, then they just assume you're from Seattle. And it's like, no, I live in Olympia. Even though Olympia and Seattle are only about 50, 60 miles apart, it's a world of difference. The weather here is always a big topic, and it's not that it's necessarily cold here, it's just that when the sun's out, we're definitely heading to the beach, regardless of the temperature. Okay, so this is actually a really good tip for people who are new to the area, and that tip is do not use an umbrella. You will stand out as a tourist, so just get on your North Face parka, put your hood on, and walk in the rain like everyone else. Another joke about the rain, yes, we look forward to summer because the rain is warmer. It's really not that bad. Our summers are awesome, and then they tell us we're in a drought. But really, the fact that it rains a lot is honestly our, our little secret. But I think it's the gray days that get to people, because uh, it's not like it rains and then the sun comes out, it just stays gray and cloudy all day long. When we have a dusting of snow, it is a big deal. I am not kidding about this. This isn't even a joke or a meme. The city shuts down. When the clouds clear away and we can see Mount Rainier, you will hear people say, the mountain is out. And they will typically say it like Oprah because it's very exciting. We love this mountain. It is so beautiful. And as you can see, what's not to love? How do I take my coffee? Seriously, very seriously. This couldn't be more true. As local Olympians, we can definitely tell the difference between Starbucks, Seattle's Best, and our own local coffee roaster, Batdorf and Bronson, just by how it looks in the mug. So we take this very seriously. So don't mess with us when it comes to coffee. A day without coffee? Yeah, who knows? I have no idea what that's about. The Seattle real estate market certainly is much higher priced than here in Olympia, and this is just an example of what you could buy in Seattle. You could buy this beautiful shack for over a million bucks, or you can get this huge house on the golf course for mere pennies. Unfortunately, we have to talk about moss. Moss is everywhere, and moss will overtake your lawn. You just can't fight it. It is what it is. Your lawn will look like moss in a year or two. Go with it. Okay, the day Trader Joe's finally made it to Olympia. I cannot believe it took Trader Joe's so long to get here because Olympia is its perfect demographic. It's full of granolas who are dying for a good Trader Joe's quinoa. So it opened in the summer of 2017 and the place has been a madhouse ever since. So honestly, we are so happy we got a Trader Joe's and Honestly, I'm surprised Olympia hasn't made it a holiday. Here in the Northwest, we have a lot of interesting names, and I want to give you a tip here on how to pronounce a few of the words that might look a little foreign to you. The first one is Puyallup. So Puyallup may is a tough one because people get messed up by the Y. Ignore the Y, and it's Puyallup. Squim, oh boy, this is a tough one. Trust me on this, it's pronounced squim. Don't look at the E. Then we have gooey duck. So that is not a bird, it's actually a bivalve that you would find buried in the beach, but it is gooey duck. And then of course, Nisqually. So that one's the easy one. So there you go, there's a wrap up of the funny memes and jokes about my hometown, Olympia, Washington. <laughs>